Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the Sew Down. This is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, read and sewn in and around the world of sewing that we thought you guys would find interesting stuff to have on while you're making, interesting things to listen to, lots of good stuff. I've got really good things to talk about this month so I'm quite excited to share them with you. Um, first things first, I'm going to talk about a couple of new designers which you may not have heard of before. Um, it's always nice to sort of spread the indie love a little bit. Um, I have a cup of tea because it's very chilly today. I'm terribly sorry. That is the dog. You might hear her barking from time to time. She likes to bark <laughs> when anyone goes past the front door. So just ignore it. Apologies. Um, she's just guarding. We didn't assign her that job, but she's taking it on herself. Um, right, so first things first, the designers. So I've got two designers. The first one to talk to you about is Trend Patterns. So she, Lucy is, is a UK based designer. Um, she works within the fashion industry. She's a pattern cutter and designer and she has got her own range. Um, they are really amazing and really interesting. So she's got about, what, 12, like 35 patterns, 25, 35 patterns. 25, 35, I think it's 25, about 25 patterns. They're really interesting. They're quite fashion forward, I would say, out of all of the indie designers. Um, they're really interesting shapes. Some of them are quite challenging. Obviously, I'll show you some pictures so you can kind of get an idea, but they're definitely worth checking out. Um, they're really interesting. And I, if you like a kind of kooky pattern piece, then this company is for you because some of her dresses and things are really interestingly cut. Um, yeah, definitely worth having a look at. Size wise, I think she goes up to, she's expanding her size ranges at the moment. So I think roughly it's an eight to a 22. Some of them have a smaller size range, but they are sort of getting expanded as we speak. So yes, definitely worth having a look at her. The other company we've got, completely different vibe, also UK, is Now and Then Patterns. So Andre um, also has a fabric shop with amazing vintage and vintage inspired fabrics and she has this pattern range as well. So if you want to look at the fabric, her, her shop's called um, Till the Sun Goes Down and yeah, she's got some really nice floaty, vintagey stuff. Um, the patterns are all based on original vintage um, clothing. They're beautiful. There's loads of really interesting ones. So she's got uh, 12 patterns with us. Um, there's, I'll kind of show you some pictures. Definitely, I, I think the thing that's nice about these is they're vintage, but they also could be modern as well. Um, my personal favorite is the beach pajamas holiday dress. I think it's beautiful. Um, I also like the summer ruffle dress, which is really nice and a real classic shape. Um, it's just quite interesting. So she's definitely worth going to have a look at. Size wise for these, it's an eight to, I think it's 24. Yes, 22, let's have a look. 24, yep, eight to 24 on those. So they're definitely worth having a look at. Right, other stuff. Um, I thought I'd let you know about, um, so I'm sure many of you have heard of Selkie Patterns, they are a sustainable pattern company. They have launched in the last month or so um, this concept called The Table. It's like a subscription service, um, I think it's £15 a month and with that you get access to all loads of content, they do interviews with people, um, lots of techniques on fitting, couture techniques. Um, I thought it was worth sharing because if anyone is at home, well we're all home a bit more slash all the time at the moment, um, it might be quite nice to have something to tap into. It also could be a nice Christmas present so if anyone is thinking ahead for Christmas um, this might be nice to give someone kind of three months subscription to it. But I thought it was a really nice thing, it might it might make us all feel like we're kind of in in, in a place together that sewing, I don't know. I just thought it was worth mentioning. Everything that I talk about, there'll be links down below to you so you can go and have a look. Um, it's really nicely done as well, though it's really well produced um, and definitely worth having a look at. So interesting, couple of interesting things that I've read. Um, a really cool article in the BBC about breast cancer survivors and um, creating a bra fitting service. 
and there's a video on there and it's something that my I've got family members who've had it and I know that that is a really hard part of the process going getting yourself fitted after you've had the operation um it's really it's a really good video it's definitely worth going and having a look at and I thought it was good to share because a lot of us make lingerie and it's yeah and a lot of us have unfortunately have got friends and family who have gone through this so yeah definitely worth going and having a look at um next up on the reading list from the daily mail um it's really interesting idea so it's a robotic fabric that changes the, its composition so it stiffens and relaxes um um stiffens and relaxes what's the word to oh that's the word to respond to temperature so depending on the temperature it can change it's it's um it's really interesting there's some videos on 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 the website and you can have a look but yeah i thought that was definitely worth sharing how cool that like fabric has become sort of so technical as tea um yeah so that's definitely worth having a read of right i've got quite a few interesting things to watch and i've got some good stuff to listen to as well so oh god i've got good stuff to watch so the first thing netflix we've got a few things on netflix rebecca the film um it's absolutely incredible so it's based on the Daphne du Maurier book Rebecca um it, it's it was um directed by the people who did atonement the costumes are out of this world um it's really good to watch it's a, a real feel-good movie especially at the moment it's got um Kristen Scott Thomas in who I adore it's really worth watching and I know that we're all looking for stuff to watch so if you haven't watched it go and watch it and enjoy getting kind of swept away for an evening um it's, it's really good so I'd highly recommend that the next thing is on Netflix as well The Queen's Gambit this is so good if anyone I'm sure a lot of you have started watching this or are thinking about watching it um it's set in the 1950s, um, it's a story of a female chess player, it's really great, it's really well produced, the costumes are fantastic and I definitely think you should watch it. It made me, it kind of swept, I think because I definitely find at the moment I, if, if something's historical I really, it is a proper escape from normal life. So because um, I don't know about you, is anyone else finding when you watch TV now you see things like bar scenes or parties or yeah yeah people in cocktail bars all like packed in together and you th you kind of start I think we've become scarred by the reality and you're like god they're all they're all really packed in together whereas the vintage stuff or like vin you know the kind of set in a different time I don't I don't think that as much anyway I'm rambling but um the queen's gambit if you haven't watched that fantastic go and watch it Next up, just a heads up, I'm sure many of you are waiting with bated breath, the next series of The Crown is out, so um, I'm filming this a couple of days ahead of when you've got, I think it'll be out, I think it's coming out, it's coming out on the 15th, so that will be on in a couple of days time, so yeah, I'm really excited, new series, I'm sure many of you are really looking forward to it, it's got Princess Diana in it, it's going to be great. So moving on from those two ones we're talking about, The Queen's Gambit and The Crown, there's this really amazing website that Netflix have created and it's about the costumes in the programme which is so cool. So it's almost set up, I'm looking at it now, it's almost set up so it feels like you're going into a museum and you can click on the dresses or the items that are on the mannequins and it tells you all about them how they created them it's really interesting it's so like i just thought it was such a cool thing to have um so if you've watched either of those definitely go and check this out because it's amazing and um yeah i learned loads actually reading about it i was reading about diana's wedding dress yeah it's great definitely worth going and having a look at um last thing to talk about in terms of watching it's on bbc iplayer and if you are feeling a little bit down, this is for you. It's called Love Life. 
it's a 10 part series, they're half an hour long, it's set in New York, um, what's the, if I was describing it, if anyone has watched the film 500 Days of Summer, it feels like that mixed a little bit with Sex and the City. Um, it's a story of a girl and her love life, but it's really well done, I would highly recommend it, so if you haven't watched it yet, go and enjoy. Reading. So I'm actually listening to this on audiobook at the moment, um, but you obviously can buy it and read it. It's called The Dressmaker's Gift by Fiona Valpi. Um, she wrote, um, what was the book she wrote? It was, it was best set, The Beekeeper's Promise. Yes, that was it. Um, I got sent this by one of my mum's friends because obviously it had dressmaker in the title. Everyone, do you find you get sent stuff like this? But I started it, it's set in the Second World War, um, about three seamstresses and their life and how everything goes in Paris. And it's really good. I would highly recommend if you want a nice bit of escapism, quite lighthearted, but um, interesting kind of plot twist. So I'm about halfway through, definitely worth reading or listening to. Finally, podcasts. Oh, I've got some good ones this week. So, I'm sure many of you have found this already, but if you haven't, it's just a public service announcement. On Audible, <laughs> French and Saunders have done a podcast called Titting About, and it is freaking wonderful. I'm sure I used to watch it all the time with my parents at home. I We love French and Saunders, and they're so funny, and it's hilarious and light-hearted, and about kind of nothing in particular, they're just chatting, but it, they're so nice to listen to. Um, I, whenever I hear them, it always puts me in a good mood, so definitely worth going and having a listen to that one. Uh, next up, uh, Rachel, actually this is Rachel, this is a Rachel one, the Waterstones podcast, which I've started listening to, is really fantastic if you're looking for inspiration for stuff to read. Um, each episode is focused on a book and or two books occasionally and they interview um the author and it's just it's really well done and it's really interesting and it's really nice to um have somewhere where because i find it almost overwhelming trying to find books so yeah definitely worth having a look at if you're looking for some inspiration the next podcast i have got is called Nice White Parents. So this is a collaboration with the New York Times and Serial. I'm sure many of you listen to Serial. It was kind of probably the first cult podcast. If you haven't listened to it, go and have a listen. It's fantastic. Um, this is such a wonderful podcast. I'm two episodes in, but I am hooked and I think you guys will really like it. It's fantastically produced. It's really interesting. Um, it's about the school system in America and how um, not all, school, you know, not all kids get equal education. So I know, well, I am British and I don't have a child, but so I am not sending a child to school, but I found this so interesting there's a obviously huger part of that is about race i think it's really interesting i'm sure you guys will like it too so go and have a listen um yeah i'm really excited about kind of getting further in with that and last but definitely not least um this podcast called you're wrong about um i have only listened i've listened to three of them and for those we were talking, I was talking earlier about The Crown, um, they've done a deep dive, and this is how I discovered them, on Princess Diana. And the concept of, there's two um, journalists talking, kind of the presenters, and they're, um, they, each week they reconsider a personal event that has been miscast in the public imagination. So they kind of look into conspiracy theories on stories and how, looking back now, you know, with hindsight, how people were treated. Um, each each week is a different um, theme, but they have done about f five episodes on Princess Diana. Um, it is really good and really well produced, and it's definitely worth checking out. So I hope that was useful. I hope I've given you some nice stuff to listen to and watch and read over the next month. Um, I hope everyone is doing as well as you can be. The sun is shining today, so everything feels a bit more jolly and um yeah we'll be back soon with another video bye